Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how we can send inquiry form data on WhatsApp number. Suppose we have an inquiry form and customer is filling that uh, form. What we want over here that data should be sent to that particular owner of that uh, website. So in this scenario, what will happen? Both the parties like customer and the owner will be benefited. How? Like instantly that message will be sent on owner's uh, WhatsApp number. So what will happen that owner can reply instantly uh, on that message or that owner can call the customer instantly and get uh, the deal closed on the spot. Okay. So uh, this is something like uh, as a developer, we have to think uh, in both ways like uh, the customer should also be benefited and the owner should also be benefited. Okay, so now we will be just opening our VS code and starting the code. So this is my VS code. Now I'll be creating one file index.html. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to just uh, start with our boilerplate over here. I'll be uh, putting title as inquiry, inquiry form. And one more thing I would like to do over here. Basically, by default, uh, if we are browsing any, uh, if, suppose if you are creating this form, okay. If I open this in live server, what we will be able to see a white background. And if I have written any text that will be visible in black and color. Okay. So I want vice versa. Like I want to interchange like background should be black and the text should be in white color. So what I'll do, I'll just do internal CSS over here, I'll target body. Now what we will I do, uh, what I'll do, background color I'll take as black. Okay, and text color, I'll put as white. That's it. So now you can see the background color is black in color and whatever text I'll be writing that will be coming in white color. Now let's create a div. So I'll, I'm just trying to create a div which is having a class name as contact contact form. Okay. Now click enter. We have a div with a class name contact form. Now under this we have to create a form. form. Now under form, we have to create some uh, input fields first of all. So let's uh, start with input, input uh, text type. Uh, ID I'll be giving as name placeholder as enter your name okay now i'll be putting a break tag over here so that the next column uh, the next input field goes below that so let's put another input tag and id i'll be giving as a mobile placeholder placeholder mobile number again over here br tag next again input i want some more fields to be filled by the customer uh, suppose email id i want so i'll be putting as if email id over here again one br tag 
now suppose this is fine with me now i want text area where that uh, person should write uh, any query if he or she has uh, i'll write ids message i'll make this 25 and this is 5 so that the, it doesn't look bigger in size so width uh, width i have taken as 25 like columns and rows i am taking 5 only so that it should be um, small in height and after that i'll be putting another break tag okay now again i'll be taking another input and it should be now in this scenario it should be submit and i want to set value as send uh, inquiry okay done my form is ready now now we have to write our script tag and then create a function say it's a uh, whatsapp after that we have to create some variables to store all this input data okay so what we will be doing we will be creating a variable where name equal to document dot get element by id so the id is name over here for first uh, input field and what we want we want value whatever that particular customer has filled so i will be writing value over here that's it below that i have to same way i have to do for mobile email and message so we want four fields more uh, four variables more so what i'll do i'll just copy this line four times uh, means total four times so over here you can see i have copied all these things so how i have copied it um, after clicking on this line shift alt and down arrow four times so it will be copied four times now what i have to change over here i have to just change mobile here id will be and here we have to write mobile variable name and one more thing what we can do over here we can create dual uh, cursors like two cursors so that we can update this name simultaneously so what i'll do i'll just click over here and press shift uh, sorry control button on my keyboard and then again click over here so as you can see over here two cursors are created now i can write uh, email over here done again click over here control button again click over here what i want message i want message over here sorted done so i'm capturing all the input values in this particular variables now with the help of this particular variables i'll be sending the data whatever customer has filled in this form to that particular business owner so for doing that we have to create another variable which will be calling whatsapp web url so i will write as whatsapp url equal to over here what we have to type suppose uh, a scenario general scenario suppose um, if you want to send any message to unknown number which is not saved in your contact list so how you can do that you have to just go to your browser wa.me slash 91 uh, country code then followed by the number 
whatsapp number and click enter and this window will pop up over here and now you can click on continue to chat if you have whatsapp application installed then whatsapp application will open otherwise it will uh, ask you to open a uh, whatsapp web now what i'll be doing over here i'll be creating the url like https colon slash slash w a dot m e slash nine one and followed by the number followed by the number okay this is it and now what we want we want to add this particular text on this mobile number we want to send this particular text on this mobile number so what will happen over here we have to put question mark text equal to text equal to what we have to do we have to again come down and we have to now add what we have to add i am over here putting name of customer this will be this is the heading for name which will be shown to the business owner after that what i will be doing i'll be adding the value over here name using this variable name over here now next what i want i want name uh, mobile number email id and message one below the other so for doing that i'll be putting over here quotes under quotes percent zero a this will bring the next line uh, next content in the next line now again i have to press enter plus sign then i have to add codes and then what i have to have mobile number mobile number is what this particular variable and then i have to add what i have to add this percent 0a so that it comes to next line so that we can add the other content which is email id email id now suppose yeah now i have to add that value from email variable which we have created above now add another break line percent zero a again enter plus now we have to add the message message and plus message plus no over here we do not want any break line because uh, this is the last line so we can close it over here again what we have to do we have to just open this particular uh, url in next tab so window dot open what we have to open the url whatsapp url where we have to open in next tab so underscore blank and we have to focus on that particular tab done so this is it and now what we have to do one last final thing we have to just call this particular function on this button okay so what i'll do i'll just uh, take on click fun on click event and whatsapp this is the function name so i have called that function name over here control s now let's go to our form and once more we can click there is no need to cl click click uh, refresh or reload because we have started a live server now what we will do we will just enter details One two three four five six seven eight nine zero email id as they were whatever uh, domain 
I want demo before purchase. This is the query of the customer. Now what we have to do, we have to just click on send and query. This will be this part will be done by the customer. As soon as the customer clicks on that, you can see over here name of the customer equal to Dave mobile number equal to this email ID equal to this message. I want demo before purchase. Now what we have to do now this thing will be happening on uh, at customer's end. So what will happen over here? Suppose if that particular uh, person is doing on mobile, then his or her WhatsApp will open with these details. Or if that person is doing on any desktop or laptop, then this kind of uh, window will be seen. So what we have to do again, we have to just click on this continue chat button. If the application is installed, WhatsApp application is installed, then it will open that application with that content. If not, like in this scenario, we have to click on use WhatsApp web. Then click on WhatsApp web. Now it will give us barcode to scan. QR code basically. Oh, I think I'm logged in. Okay, here we got an error like invalid mobile number. So I'll just verify. Okay, nine zero triple one seven five nine five seven. Seven five nine five seven. This is the correct mobile number. So again, what we have to do, we have to again fill Dave one, two, three. Dave at gmail.com testing. Okay. This time I'm putting testing. Now click on send. Again, we will be getting uh, this tab. And uh, as we have written, like uh, this will be the focus tab. Now we have to click on continue chat. Uh, we don't have a WhatsApp application. So we have to continue with use WhatsApp web. And now it should uh, open WhatsApp web. Basically, it should ask give uh, QR code and scan and then continue. I have already scanned in. Uh, so I'm getting this. As you can see over here, name of the customer, Dev. Next line, mobile number. Next line, email ID. Next line, the message. Now what we can do, we can just click on send button. As soon as I click on send button, this message will be sent to that particular business owner. And as you can see over here, uh, this will be highlighted. So the customer, uh, the owner can click on this number and mobile will be, uh, it will be, this number will be going to his dial pad and uh, he will be able to see that number and just click on uh, call call will be sent if that person wants to send an email then just click on this an email a new email will be popping up and he can write that uh, content whatever he wants and that can be sent to the customer so over here that uh, business owner will be getting the query of that particular customer so this was the method how we can use um, WhatsApp in our forms. Hope you like this video. Thank you.